this is Emily from Adorable Party, and this is an exclusive behind the scenes look at Tuesday treats. Today I'm going to show you how to make a caramel macchiato cheesecake, and this is what you will need. To make this, you will need some graham crackers, eggs, a 1 8 ounce container of sour cream, 3 8 ounce containers of cream cheese, a can of whipped cream, some butter, caramel topping, and a fourth cup of espresso. Hi, um, I was just wondering if I could get like four shots of espresso, but uh, separated between two cups. Separated between two cups? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. So right. you double shots? Yep, and that'll be it. Thank you so much. Thanks along with some sugar and vanilla. First you will have to make the pie crust and to do that you will need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And next you will need to melt half a cup of butter. Just let that go for a little bit until the butter is all melted. And for the most important part of the crust you're going to need some crushed graham crackers. So I already have half a cup crushed here. So what I like to do, is I like to put my graham crackers in a little Ziploc baggie. We'll just throw a few more in there. And then you close it. Make sure all the air is out first. And then, once you actually get closed, you put it down and smash it. Try to crush these into little crumbs. But if you're not strong enough like me, you could always use something else. Today we'll use a wine bottle to smash. And you kind of just like put it down in a little circle motion. Once this side looks good, you flip it. And then you just keep going until you have a fine crumb, crush, crumb, crumbs crushed. So now that our butter is melted, we are going to grab it out of the microwave. Melt it. And we are going to add it to our bowl, which is full of two crumbs of crushed graham crackers. Little, little mixy mixy in. Okay. Make sure you get all that butter in there. It's very, very important. And then we are also going to add in two tablespoons of white sugar. And you kind of just like mix it around. It's um not gonna, you know, look too pretty, feel too great, but you just want to make sure you get all your crumbs like covered in the sugar and oh and covered in the butter and just so you can like form it into the pan really well. That's right. But make sure you don't get crumbs everywhere like I am. Okay, so it looks good. As you can see, it's all kind of very saturated and warm. So next we're going to need, it's called a springform pan. Grease your springform pan with some butter. Um, well, you don't really have to use butter, but I am because we don't have any pan spray. So this is just so your crust doesn't stick to the pan when you're trying to take it out of the oven when it's all cooled and stuff and you want to eat it. So it looks pretty buttered. So next we will scoop all of our pie crust stuff in here. Get all in there. And make sure your hands are clean for this part because you're going to conquer this mountain of pie crust and smash it around. You don't want to get germs in here, so wash your hands and smash it everywhere. Make it a little level. All right. Looks good. Looks good. All right. And then you are going to take your pie crust in the pan and put it in your preheated oven and bake it for eight minutes. We are going to remove our pie crust from the oven. Hot! And you're going to take it out and just set it down somewhere to cool for a little bit. And then next, for the cream cheese filling, we're going to have to lower the um, oven temperature to 325. And now we are going to start making the cream cheese filling. Alright, now what you're going to do to make the cream cheese filling is you're going to need um, three 8 ounce containers of cream cheese and you just kind of scoop it in here 
Uh, you have to make sure it's softened though. If you're going to use the, um, the bricks and cream cheese, it definitely has to be uh, left out to get to room temperature for a little bit. But since I'm using this cream cheese, it usually softens pretty fast. Alright, so you're going to put all this into your mixing bowl. And then I'm going to let it run for a little bit. And then, just so it gets a little fluffy and, you know, ready to be mixed with everything else. And then while this is going, I am going to add um, a full cup of sugar, kind of slowly, to let it all mix together. And then, I'll meet up with you after that. Alright, next we are going to add in a fourth cup of espresso or just like strawberry drink coffee. Make sure you also add three eggs one at a time and the eight ounces of sour cream to your mixture while it's still going. Wipe it off a little bit, clean up. And here we go with this. So this is our um like the macchiato part of the um caramel macchiato cheesecake. The caramel will come at the end. So next we are going to add it into our pre-made pie crust. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna take our cream cheese filling that we just made and add it into our cooled pie crust. And you just kind of just want to like you know, pour it in there, get it all in there. Oh yeah, look at that. Don't look at that cream cheese that wasn't blended all the way. Oh, wow. Where did the pie crust go? We'll find it later, I guess. Um, I guess I'll try to scoop everything else up on here. <laughs> all right. So now we are going to put this in the 325 oven for about an hour and five minutes. Let it do its thing and bake away. Now that an hour and five minutes has passed, the next step we have to do is turn the oven off. And then you have to um, open the oven a little, like just a crack. And this is to let the heat escape, but it also lets the, um, the cheesecake rest. And this has to happen for about uh, 15 minutes. And so we'll check on it after that. 15 minutes has passed. We will take our cheesecake out of the oven. Look at this beauty. All right, and I'm gonna set it down. And what you have to do is before it cools, you have to run a knife around the edge so that way it'll totally like, you know, split apart when you're ready to eat it. And then what you have to do is you have to let it cool to room temperature and then put it in the fridge for about eight hours to let it, you know, cool down and chill out. But I'm gonna skip that and I'm just gonna put it right in the fridge. And I'm gonna let it do its thing and just, you know, chill a little bit. So after that we'll be ready to eat it. All right, so now that it has some time has passed, I think it is time to take our cheesecake out of the fridge. Here we go. So now, you'll take the edge off. And look at that beautiful masterpiece. So now all you have to do from here is cut yourself a little piece. Okay, just a little one though. Small appetites. It out. And now you can decorate it however you like. A little dot of whipped cream. And the most important part to make it a caramel macchiato is to have caramel syrup all over it. And now we will take a spoon. 
and we will enjoy. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope to see you again soon. So we are going to start by making the pie crust. And first, you will need half a cup of butter melted. It's going like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still going? I'm still going. <laughs> okay, cool. And, oh. And two, oh, and, um. You want me to stop? <laughs>